According to USA Today, more than 1,100 college students take their lives each year, and the suicide rate among young adults has tripled since the 1950s. But statistics do not put faces to those numbers. My name is Travis E. Green, and I am I'm a theater and English creative writing student at Texas State. Five months ago, Green took his own life. The loss has a lingering effect on the loved ones he left behind. Travis was one of my favorite people. Like, no matter what, he could always make me laugh. Um, but even more importantly, he was someone who recognized all of the best traits of other people. And he was always really quick to remind you of how you were special. Texas State student Joshua Zablewski recalls getting to know Travis last year while doing a documentary about his life. He's doing this, he was producing music, making music, he was in theater, he was writing, like whether if it was for film or poetry or music, you know, it's like he kind of had his hands at everything. While many questions may remain regarding the reasons why Travis took his life, Gregory offers up some personal advice that could help others who may be struggling. I think it's important that they realize what the things are that keep them going and what it is that makes you continue to go second to second, minute to minute, and just keep doing that. Other resources available to students include the Counseling Center, which offers free confidential sessions by trained professionals, as well as mental health and psychiatric services at the Student Health Center. Gregory had hopes that Travis would seek out this assistance. Honestly, it was more of a mental health issue. He was kind of always on the brink, and his reluctance to seek help kind of is what I accredit to it most of all. Travis Green leaves behind a legacy full of accomplishments. He was a published poet, actor, rapper, and was also the student organization's council president. Gregory says that he leaves behind a huge shadow that loved ones will always be chasing. That feeling that he gave us all while he was alive is going to find a way to manifest itself in all of our work. And as we become better artists and as we become more recognized, it'll become our responsibility to make sure that his name lives on through that work. Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind. For Bobcat Update, I'm Jonathan Zitley. Family. Yeah, I miss her too. If you or someone you know is in crisis and needs immediate help, call the Texas Youth Hotline at 1 800 989 6884 or chat with us online. Life can hurt, we can help. I wanted to implement some type of 3D touched uh, technology. So if we 3D touch an uh, event right here, it'll pop up with a little more detail on the event itself. You'll still have these basic details, but you'll also have uh, a description. You'll also have a tag for the major that it pertains to, and you'll also have a button here to favorite the event. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go back to the events page. I also want to do some type of sliding feature. So if you slide an event to the right, uh, you have the potential to open it up in the map section of our app. Let's move on to the next tab, which is the map tab. If we click the buildings toggle, you can also see the building names. We also have an events toggle that shows you events on the map and a more toggle or a more button that takes you to um, a more detailed and refined search on the map. Let's go ahead and zero in on our location. What's cool is you can pop up on the building name and it'll give you a completely detailed look at the building itself. You get the full unabbreviated name, 
you have the address itself and you have um, a list of the different events happening going in, in that building. But it's about halfway through the hour, so you know what that means. Let's breeze on over to your KTSW weather report. Ladies and gents, it is 2.30, or to be more precise, 2.33, so that means weather by me. Currently here in San Marcos, Texas, it is 43 degrees outside, nice and cloudy with a lot of wind. Make sure you guys are staying on your feet. That wind's going to pick you up otherwise. Looking into the 10-day forecast, for the most part this weekend, it seems to be the same. No chance of rain looking here any, uh, anytime soon. Um, next Monday, it might warm up a bit, but for the most part, just enjoy this nice, cool, chilly weather. Nice, cool, chilly. Yeah, it's freezing. I don't like it. I love it. We, we've we been, every week, we've been saying, I can't wait for fall weather. This isn't no, really no, no, winter. No. Like, I weather. want fall weather. The nice, crisp weather. This is too cold. This is way too cold. Ladies and gents, you cannot make Peyton happy. <laughs> there's there's nothing to do. I'm sorry. It's too cold. I don't, I'm, I'm miserable in the cold. I would much prefer summer. Loser. What's Sorry. up next? <laughs> up next is Lauren I'm in Love by the Hooten Tennis Club. You guys are listening to 89.9 KTSW. The San Marcos Transit is now going by a new name known simply as the bus. The service provided by Carts was recently revamped at their launch event with five new 29-passenger wheelchair-accessible buses covering a set of seven routes across the city with stops at places like HEB, the Outlets, and Texas State University. The university's assistant director of transportation services, Stephen Herrera, says aside from Bobcat shuttles, people from Texas State can also utilize the bus system. As part of the uh, services that students, faculty, and staff can receive, they can ride that service for free if you show your uh, ID, Texas State ID. The new buses offer services Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., cycling every hour. To catch a bus, locate the oval B bus stop sign scattered across the city. For KTSW News, I'm Brent Ramirez. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? The name's Apollo, god of logic, reason, and the sun. Oh, and I'm also the god of music. Check out the sick bongo beat. Uh, yeah, uh. Anyways, back to the sun stuff. Just wanted to let you guys know you should help out Mother Gaia and install some of those nifty little solar panels for your roof. They can heat up your water and help you save money and energy at the same time. Pretty neat, huh? For more info on saving energy, go to energy.gov slash energy saver. Our planet, our responsibility. A message from the other side of radio. KTSW 89.9. You're listening to KTSW, 89.9, the official radio station of Texas State University. The other side. The other side of radio.